excuse us, buddy. You know, this movie for me was very kind of personal. Like I really understood this life. It was literally kind of going behind the veil of what it's like to be a celebrity. For me, it was really about burying my soul. There's a doorway in there. Living a life in the spotlight has its challenges. And the truth is like, Nobody really wants to hear the woe is me of that. But the truth is that it has a scrutiny and it has a judgment to it that most people don't ever have to deal with in their life. Like it was going through an emotional heartbreak over and over. Yeah. You know? Like that's, that's what it is. Literally like the roller coaster, like I would be dead by the end of the day after yes. trying to like rally that yeah. over and over. But it's just like everything in between has like, it's uh, basics, fundamentals. Yeah. And then from there, you become more of a master at them mm -hmm. as time grows. You do the thinking of something that you relate to in that moment and just channel like that raw emotion of an experience you had to go there that you related to, or you just really live in the moment of that actual character and what they're going through. I think when you are better at it, when, you're, when you have more experience, you can do that. The second one, you can kind of just put yourself in that mindset. Mm -hmm. When you're younger, you have to think of something, torture yourself more. Mm -hmm. But it all comes from your own experience. Yeah. Everything comes from your own experience. Substitutions and the moment before. And mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just about setting yourself up the right way and then going out there and just letting everything happen. Mm -hmm. One thing that was really important for me was seeing the work that goes into being a celebrity like Kat Valdez, like Jennifer Lopez. Like, when you guys separate, your head is dragged behind and drag your head behind you. Like, everybody has their head in the same position. Being partnered with one of the most famous people in the world and knowing her differently than anyone else knows her is an honor and sometimes frustrating. People think they know, but it was never just an open door. She had to fight her way in, and she still is. No matter what, she works harder. I really related with this character, obviously. She's been in the business a long time. She's had some ups and downs in her personal life. There was so much about it that really I could understand like nobody else could understand. So we're doing the poster for the thing. Yes. So we shot uh, him and it was amazing. Okay. Uh, now you want to do some solos and you guys are together? Let's start with them together. Let's start with them together? Okay. Yeah. This is why we close our eyes. Close your eyes for them here. We have to tell stories that you see some element of truth. The spectacle of this movie, sharing so much on social media, it's standing inside of it and standing outside of it and seeing where you're most comfortable in a world where everybody can reach you suddenly. At the beginning, we should be separated and then come together. What do you guys think? Yeah, because yes. there's a lift in your stage of center. Jennifer was an integral part of developing this story. Whenever there was a question about, you know, what would Kat Valdez do? What is it like when she stands in a receiving line after a concert? What is Kat Valdez's life like? We always went to Jennifer. Collaborating with Kat was really great. From the very beginning, she just felt like she understood, you know, this character and this story. She had a real vision for what this movie could be. And she was fantastic to work with. There's an excitement to these relationships when you're with somebody else who's um, famous as well, that you feel like you're moving 
<laughs> yeah. You're moving energy, like you're moving the world almost, you know, and that gives you a little bit of a high, right? That yeah. You know, and there's an understanding yeah. too. You don't have to explain to someone what your life is and how weird it is and how, you know, how out there but it is. But I think they really love each other. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I'm he sure really you. loves her and she really, really has, like, he filled a hole for her. And there's something super exciting and feels new about it, especially when you're being the 40s. You're like, Oh my God, I remember what it was like to be a teenager. Yeah. Everything was just like being a teenager again. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're yeah. kissing all the time, and you're yeah. doing all this stuff, and you can't wait to get back to each other. Holding hands 24-7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think she likes that. It makes her feel younger because she's in a business and she has to stay useful. Mm -hmm. So there's that draw for him too, right? So I think it's about her leave, stop being a kid and becoming an adult mm -hmm. with Charlie. And I think that's, a, 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 again, the growth for her and Charlie has to become more like a child. He's like too adult and too much. <laughs> and I bring this excitement. And what he brings into my life, I bring into Charlie. Coney Island. Yeah, I bring Coney Island. Can Brian play that back? Even though you have this blessed, beautiful kind of paradise of a life, there's also this other side to it that nobody gets to see. That can be very, very lonely. I got to really kind of show the side, the kind of sadder side of what that is like. <laughs> I can't read, I can't. I can't get out of my own way. <laughs> Just the other day, we were doing a scene where she's dancing with my students and uh, kind of leading them through some choreography. Everyone was watching the monitor, even the security guys, just because it's fun watching her dance. She has informed a lot of this script and what it would feel like, because there's a human there. And I think that in her life, she's always had to work harder to prove how good she is. You know, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. I just think I don't want to go back as the epiphany, but I don't want to go back as the epiphany. Excuse so me for having this epiphany. Right I don't want to go back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go back. I want something different. The first time she wants something different, something better for herself, you know, than the guy who cheats on her, than the chaotic life, than yeah. something real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. right. Jennifer has had her eye and her ear and her heart on this film, in the music, in the dance, in the costumes, in the look. But I would, I'd want to qualify and say tomorrow our goal, this is our goal, but it's yeah. a really a lot of Locked stuff. Ambitious. Goal. It's ambitious but that's goal. why I'm asking if we're shooting that the way to, to do it where it doesn't get too long is that we shoot it from beginning to end. Yes. Each take. But kind yes. of block shooting it in the exactly. sense of just like not, exactly. like just not running to go to one, that, oh, exactly. Exactly. Right. there, they go through all their beats. I come yes. up there and then I say my speech and then I hold up the sign, the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that you're a celebrity in the public eye, people feel like they have a right to know everything. And it's just like, OK, but I do get to have something for myself, right? I'm still a human being. And it's just that balance. It's different to be a performer, an actor, a singer, an artist in this age of social media. This is who she is. And I think that's for me in my real life, too. Great. Another red carpet, another look. <laughs> Here we go. We see this glossy life, and it seems perfect, and it seems to be kind of synonymous with celebrity. But when you look at somebody like Jennifer, who works her butt off, really grueling physical work and mental work and always doing something, you see that there's a huge divide between celebrity and the kind of talent that she is. Tell me, tell me, 
tell me, tell me, what comes after love? I want to know there's something for me after us. I don't think my heart was made to break this mud. Tell me there's a happy ever after love. Tell me there's a happy ever after us. It's a wrap. I think with staying grounded, like how do you stay grounded while living the life of like in the public eye and of a like, superstar? You know, remembering where I came from has always kept me very grounded. I don't feel any different than that person and I think that's what people forget. I'm still the same person. I'm just doing these things with my life and it's expanded and grown, but there's still a, a human being there. the beginning thank you so much for working on this with us this was a uh, something elaine and i have been working on probably for about seven years now so to get to finally be able to do it and film it and have such an amazing crew to do it with and have so many amazing wonderful people in the movie you know it just touches my heart and i'm, I'm so excited and i can't wait for you guys to see it and i can't wait for it to come out and for you guys to be singing the songs and Falling in love with Owen and all the good stuff that's gonna happen. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.